History is not only reflected in books, but in people too, in how they talk, how they live, what I think, what I feel, what I wear. Clothing has been an essential piece to narrate stories and to show the uniqueness of different cultures. Today, we will talk about the handbook, the traditional Korean clothing that lasted 1,000 and 600 years and is cherished nowadays. So, let's go! I'm pretty sure you have watched Korean historical dramas and I have been amazed by the wardrobe. But do you know how it is composed? Hanbok means Korean clothing and it is composed of certain elements that are the chima, a skirt, and a chukuri, a jacket, for women, and a pachi, that are pants, and a chukuri too, for men. Other elements that can be added to the main clothing are the chuki, that is a vest, the makucha, there is an outer jacket and the turumaki that is an overcoat. All of this depends on the occasion and your social status too. Like every other traditional clothing, the handbook has its own details that make it special, from the colors that can symbolize the social position and marital status, to the difference between the men's handbook and the women's handbook. In the meanwhile, let's talk about those details that make you know it's a handbook. First, there is a wrap the front top, beautifully and patiently made. Second, it has a long and high waisted skirt with usually vibrant colors. Can you picture it from the drama you have watched? If you can't, maybe you can go and enjoy some historical Korean dramas after this video and learn about the history too. Well, coming back to the handbook, the chukuri and the chima together make the chima chukuri. For men, there are some things different, like a paji instead of a chima, with the chukuri and the choki, maguja, and durumaki, that is for going out, can be added too, and a hat called cat. If you were paying attention, you will remember that I mentioned that the color symbolized the marital status, the social position, the honey life of the people, and the age of them. So let's go and talk about this. For example, generally bright colors were worn by girls and children, muted hues for middle aged women and men. And when we're talking about social position, the variety of colors were for the upper class, and for commoners, it had to be white. But on a special occasion, they could wear other shades like pale pink or light green and others. And finally, only the royal could wear the comeback printed patterns that are known as the gold leaf. Now that you know its elements, maybe you're curious about where it appears, where it comes from, and if something changed, and what things stay the same since years ago. So let's go and answer those questions. The first glimpses of handbooks can be seen in Kokoryo Tom's mural paintings, which are dated from the 5th century. In this, we can appreciate the basics for handbook, which you already know. Even if the main structure didn't change, in the Chunsun dynasty, some details were added, like in the women's handbook, the Chukuri tainan and shortened, and the Chima it became fuller. And this design is the one that lasted until nowadays and the one we can see around in Korea. Currently, there are variations of the handbook, but the traditional one can be seen on special occasions, like the Dolbok or the first birthday, the coming of age ceremony, weddings, and the payback with the appropriate details. As well, many Korean artists wear them for the new lunar year in their videos and presentations. Also, you can find places in South Korea to rent or order a custom-made handbook. There will be people ready to help you to wear it properly and to have a beautiful experience by being part of the Korean culture through its clothing. And that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot with me. And let's see each other next time. And please, keep being curious and keep learning because the culture is real beautiful. I hope we can and keep learning next to Korean culture. So, until each other next time.